He just so. I, and I sometimes surprised. they can get Battlefield in too, so. Yeah. Battlefield. Looks like they're just going to start yes. Battlefield. Organ special. All right. Oh, that base. So right now, Devin's doing a great job. DSL is doing a great job of uh, adding percent to Nana. Just trying to get her out of play as quickly as possible. Yeah, DSL is really good. He's, he's an incredibly patient fox. So he, he picks smart spots. He's not going to attack if he doesn't. Yeah, he's not going to do anything blind in terms of aggression. He's not just going to go in there as hard as possible without knowing exactly what's going to happen. He's been wobbled enough. This should just be rinse and repeat back air. Now, that was actually a really good. Yeah, he did an awesome job getting close enough with that side B that time, but to get the air dodge mix up, yeah. but it wasn't enough. And that's a wobble? Oh my goodness. <laughs> We'll see what happens. He is not known uh, for dropping these, so. Dead Leaf is pretty consistent. I've only Could seen him drop a couple. As easy as that for, for a stock. I love looking at players' faces when they get wobbled. It ranges from <laughs> why is this happening to me to ice climbers just, you know, have to do this to win in some cases. <laughs> Especially against Fox, where handoffs are not easy. DSL kind of had a laugh. why am I here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this again? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> why did I come today? <laughs> okay, I don't know about that choice there. But they were both at. Oh my goodness! That was rather unexpected. That yeah, was she must rather have been at quite yeah, a rather quick. Looks like that forward smash did yeah, a lot more than we thought. Yeah, it's got that hidden percent. Yeah, exactly. See, so. I was gonna say I, I questioned his choice going for um, Popo there, but it worked out. And nice, forward smash but. in general, because that's actually one of the moves that if you don't have a lot of hits done uh, with percent, it's gonna be harder to get off, especially if the Popo and Nana shield the forward smash. You could just get grabbed yeah. right out of it. So. Don't want to get free free grabs, obviously. <laughs> Especially not against Ice Climbers. Bad enough against other characters, but Ice Climbers can really punish you. Leaf just respecting the pressure there, stays in shield. I think he might have been able to get a shield grab at yeah. half of that back air, but and not worth whiffing. Leaf just fishing for aerials. Just runs up with an up smash. DSL applying a lot of aerial pressure. Back air being very good in this matchup, especially if it hits both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this movement. It's looking pretty Down good. Smash was a smart move there. Nice. Okay, can he kill Nana? No. Oh, goes for the charge up smash. Oh, no wow. avail. Oh, gets both of them. It's okay. that, yeah, with that same He's smiling. I think they start dying off. around 90-ish. Relatively light character. That jump in shine is really good in there. As you said, he's been playing very intelligently this first match. And not that Leaf hasn't, it's just very hard for Ice Climbers to get in against Fox. <laughs> but Dash Tech seems to be doing the job. Now they're just trying to shark the platforms, oh. and he gets a nice wave land in the grab. See, DSL was doing such a good job of just avoiding that bottom area, but then he's able to use the dash attack yeah. to set up to a, some pressure, to a tech chase on the platform. Leaf is really good at tech chasing on platforms, and you need to be as ice primary skills. Yeah, definitely need to utilize every advantage you have. Oh, this could be something. Okay, let's see what he oh, gets. Oh, wow. If that was a grab, that actually would have been the match right there. Right. And that okay. actually is going to okay. be it for Nana, so this is going to be Sopo right here. So knowing DSL, you got to say he's probably going to take this match, but yeah. Leaf is no slouch. Yeah, Leaf's Popo, definitely no slouch. Where is he, Nana? <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the... What a confusing character. So much, so many un unanswered questions. Yeah. Are they brothers, sisters? Are they married? What's going on there? Maybe they're just dating. Especially their moveset, too. Like, you would never think that they would be the ones with the infinite grab. <laughs> yeah, Fox should be the infinite <laughs> yeah. grab. Shine the person while you're grabbing them. It always blows my mind how, like, close to the ledge Ice Climbers can be and still air dodge and yeah. grab it. Such a slow faller. Characters like Luigi and Puff who can just air dodge yeah. on ledge and just, like, grab right it immediately. It. It's like, that's, that's crazy. Because Fox and Puff, you have to be at least one platform height above yeah. or you'll just drop. Well, good showing. Let's see. Game two, what do you think? So I, I'd see, like, he likes he likes Pokemon Stadium a lot. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium. He wants platforms. Uh, because, FD. well. I'm not surprised about yeah. that. But he can chase him down, but, I mean, go. Fox is a very fast character, so. And DSL, like you said, definitely plays smart, so it's going to be hard to get him in the corner. But. Well, the other thing about the stage is this could definitely backfire for True. either character. Yeah, and as we see here, he got a grab. 
into a handoff into a wobble wobble combo. So. A wobble, <laughs> a wobble, wobble combo. Carter's just enjoying playing some 64. You can see Leaf very excited to get that. What a nice sunny day. Okay, back back to the match. Yeah, back to the melee. Yeah, I'm rather surprised it's actually working out as well as it has, considering he got a lot of the kills that he got last match from the platform and another one that he was able to get. So. Leaf has a shit-eating grin on his face right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure DSL is feeling his tag pretty hard right now. Yeah. You can see the frustration kind of... But you can also see him making a valiant effort to try and get out of it as yeah, as quickly as possible, but... Like we Honestly, said before, once you get once to. you get past like thirty or forty percent, you probably yeah. shouldn't even waste your time. Focus on you're your just DI. yeah, you're wasting energy at that point, and you're hurting energy. your stick. Yeah, you're doing damage to your save controller. the controllers. Guys. Yeah, save the controller because you're not going to get out. Technically, they can get you at zero. The ice climbers are not get worth out. getting mad at and breaking our controller. It's yeah, right. Sometimes the ice climber play is the one breaking the controller. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Leaf smiles it off. All right, so edge guard situation. Okay, let's see. Forward oh, smash? Yeah, forward okay. smash is smart. But really good DI from DSL. Oh, and, and uh, the shine to separate them. That's right. Let's see if he gets anything off this. Yeah, forward smash will do it. So I think he waited there so that way Nana could um, Catch attack. Up. Yeah. Really smart. There's so much stuff that like most people don't really notice or pay attention to with Ice Climbers. Oh, it's right. really hard yeah. to see. They're controlling two characters, so it's like... Especially with all the desyncs and everything that can yeah. go on, it's, it's such a more complex character than people give it credit for. And then sometimes you just get random stuff and Nana's yeah, true. Yeah. But <laughs> sometimes Nana just lets go of the person instead of throwing them and you know, sometimes they <laughs> die off that and play the game as it goes. And wow, Look at charge that. jump smash. Now that is Nana always gonna hold in like that? Is that I'm not sure, but it was definitely a strong punish given that he knew that they were coming down like that. Yeah, I wonder if Leaf had any control over that or if Nana was just doing her thing. And it'll be interesting to see how DSL changes his playstyle as the game goes on because we're seeing him try to mount a comeback here. They do pretty well so far, but all it takes is this yep. one re-grab. There we go. Leaf is so consistent. Yeah, right right at this percent. Like, how you fast know, yeah. DSL is mashing, there's no way he's going to break out. And so, like, if Leaf drops it, his stick could be in a terrible DI yeah. position. He could be in an unfavorable position just from trying to mash out. Yeah, but... So we see a game three. Yeah. Game three. Okay. What's, what are the bets? So, Straight yeah. to Pokemon. Okay. So Leaf is happy with this, too. A lot of the transformations favor Fox way more than they do Ice Timers, so this yeah. is smart. He's able to camp on platforms a little bit and get some laser damage. And, wow, the jab wake up. Oh, my goodness. Leaf, Leaf with well the here. setups. Oh. If he maintains this momentum, it's going to be very hard for anybody to stand in his way. Leaf smiles straight for the camera. <laughs> the tongue out. He knows it. Every time he gets a, a, a grab, he's so happy. Oh my gosh. That's why he oh. plays this game. Oh, he drops it. That was very close. But a good start so far from Leaf. Smart icicle there. Good DI from DSL as well to stay on stage. Goes for Nana. Get up attack. She's going to do that like every time. Yay for computers. And Leaf also opting to go for the get up attack on Bobo as well can be punished very easily if DSL recognizes that. <laughs> Another know. interesting thing about the Ice Climber is that he can only grab one of them at a time, so... I don't really know about the down throw choice. I, it could have been an accident. Forward yeah. throw makes a lot of sense because you can throw them into each other. And then up throw as well. Fast. Up throw as well for the up air. Yeah. The only bad thing about in that situation doing an up throw is, yeah, Popo, if, if Leaf is controlling him, he can punish you for the grab, yeah. so... That's a nice thing about forward throw. It's really quick. Also, at a higher percent, it's not guaranteed that he would get the up air necessarily, and so he could, as you say, be punished by Nana, if not Popo himself. But Ooh. here we see a very smart shine separating Popo and Nana, so Nana's going to die. And just like that, there is a percent at deficit right here. But and, a, and a straight down do smash is yeah. definitely going to end it for Fox, but this is a good good spot yeah. for the DSL to be in. He just, like, <laughs> jumps up. I like that. It's pretty much like... Every ice counter play I wrote, it's like they're at a, they're at the ledge. What are they gonna do? Ooh, they're gonna wave yeah. land on. Yeah. 
the smartest option that they've got. I mean, it's and like the only option. that's going to be it for the second stock. What? What? So okay. really here, any damage that DSL gets is kind of free damage in the sense yeah. that he's looking for invincibility off of the next stock to do as much damage as possible because he's looking to not get wobbled. And so anything he's able to get here is really good for him. Unfortunately, only 5%, but he's still able to separate them. Yeah, and he's got back into a neutral position. No advantage. See, that up, that's what I'm talking about. Why Why do the up throw? That, that's yeah. kind of... Maybe it's a mistake. Give him the benefit of that doubt. It's, yeah, it's really only safe when you know that one of the ice timers is off stage. And Ooh. one thing that makes the, the matchup definitely challenging for any character against ice timers is yeah. that you essentially have to beat two people every stock because you have to kill Nana and then also deal Popo. It's very rare that you see him kill both at the same time. And so. All right, so here we see DSL in an advantageous position. Just uh, about a half a stock up at this point, actually. Yeah, this is such a good spot for Fox to be in. Now, if you could just kill Nana this Yeah, before this he dies, that would, basically... that would be great. Yeah. Oh, wow. <gasps> Gets Battlefield on Pokemon Stadium, mainly from him holding the ledge. And that's going to be Nana that going. That kills so Nana? This is entirely How much hidden percent does she have? At least 80%. Oh, my to kill God. Her. All right, let's, let's see. And that's one thing that's pretty scary for the Ice Climber player as well, because you don't know what, what percent she's at ever. It doesn't tell you. Yeah, so. you have to really pay attention to what moves <laughs> yeah, you are You have to be out. really focused. Well, that's the back here. I was like, 14%? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Add it up in your head. Have a little note. <laughs> okay, wait, let's stop. Invincibility. <laughs> Pause the game. I know it'll cost me a stock, but I'm figuring these things out. <laughs> so here, one-up smash, uh, even down smash, or shine. Leads to a favorable edge guard. Okay, let's see if he gets the rinse and repeat this time. Honestly, that time I think a forward smash would have been a better yeah. choice. And one more back. Like right, he's right gone. here. Turn around, yeah. up smash. Turn around, forward. Obviously, rinse and repeat back air yeah. is nice and safe. Edge guarding ice climbers is pretty straightforward. Uh, they really only have the one way back unless they have both of them, and even then, you have to avoid one. I of guess them. air dodging if yeah. they're close enough. But like, if you let them, when he's that far out, yeah, he, he'll just try and drift back to stage. So here we see FOD. This is... Not too surprising. Yeah. The only thing that really messes with Fox on this stage is the changing platform heights. Sometimes you can get grabbed by the ice climbers and don't think you'll be wobbled, and then it just continues going up with them. And, you know... Now, I'm not sure that if it's the case for FOD, but I know with Pokemon Stadium, when there are transformations, it can mess up wobbles. Yeah. So I think these platforms... It can be deceiving on both ends factor. because you can think that they're not wobbling you and then they actually do get it because it does lift them up yeah. right along with you. And also, they can be grabbing you and they'll separate you, which is definitely favorable for DSL. So, if Lee's able to win here, I don't know. <laughs> I was wobble. about to yeah, say, he, it's going to be hard if he gets two well wobbles. So. Lee's looking good. What a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> nice day. Yeah, Oregon's weather is pretty awesome today. All right, back to the match. <laughs> now that the wall is done. <laughs> great oh, shine, that great was two shines, really and that's going to be a quick stock. Super unfortunate. If he's didn't looking get to the start, fall. if he's looking to start a comeback, that's definitely how you do it. Wow, are we going to see it again? That's one of the most frustrating things ever is when you get shined by Fox, and then you don't get the fast fall, and then you just fall you off the ledge. Again. You don't yeah. grab the ledge. Uh, Rough times. Just two quick presses of down B and that's a stop. Uh, Very talented character. Very strong. <laughs> Very talented. <laughs> Much talent. Such she been. There's a forward smash. Hits Are both of them twice yeah, with the forward smash. I like Definitely it. Definitely the percent he's looking. Oh, wow. That worked out. What a weird trade. Nana was facing okay. the opposite way, but did hit him for some percent. But unless he gets a down smash, he's not going to be able to take DSL stock. And we've got an even Look at that. stock in. <laughs> so, do you think you should have, yeah, he just Quick closed his eyes. Like, really? I think he should have shield down, drop, maybe. He's like, oh, I know it. I'm not really sure why he let go of shield there. I, I think it might have been a shield drop. And that actually is going to be it for <gasps> game four, surprisingly. Well, let's see. Leaf has a pretty confident smile on his face. Three wobbles at the and a down smash. Wow, <laughs> and drops he drops it. it. Not sure if out of BM or just to well, play with him. Well, he got a little distracted looking at the camera, looking at his. Yeah, making a funny face. And that's it. He smiles. So two two, bring Six, in game oh five. Goodness. This is actually very high. This this guy. Normally it's very one sided. Ice climbers versus Fox, but this is very even. 
And game five, they're probably looking for. I, I'm really curious to see. I could I wouldn't be surprised by a Dreamland pick. Yeah. It just yeah. makes sense. It gives them a lot more room to run away from. Grabs and more platforms to run away from. Uh, just grab setups in general. Look at this. And he's able to, yeah, isolate Nana and do a lot of damage really quickly. And then you just like brought me into the next point is, what's nice is you can camp the top platform. Ice Climber has such a terrible time like getting up there. Yeah, look, look at this. Using the vertical dimension, making Ice's life uncomfortable. Yeah, it's really up to DSL to just make the quick decisions to get in there and shine as quickly as possible. And look at that graph like percent. Nana's playing out of her mind as well. <laughs> She's playing out of her <laughs> mind. And she gets back to the ledge. Oh my goodness. The read. Or Popo, depending on which. Yeah, we look which at. I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird. I think if you look at their faces, you can, you can tell which one's which. Yeah. Their faces are slightly different. <laughs> but I like those ones. Uh, Leaf and Fox always have to, like, RPS over color. Yeah. Because they both want that UO, the UO. Ice climbers. And Leaf is green by nature, so he's, he's definitely trying to get the green. Underestimates the, the size like on of the, the One of the only maps shot. with a tree, so maybe this is the home field advantage. <laughs> Gets that Leaf bonus. <laughs> yeah. Look at the bushes in the background. Hopefully Wispy doesn't push him off. There we go. That's always a very sad thing, too, when you're recovering with side B with Ice Climbers and then when Wispy just pushes you away and you just <laughs> don't get the ledge like you're supposed to. Oh, wow! Icicle! Doing <laughs> an insane job of covering the ledge like that. If he was a little quicker on the aerial off the ledge, he actually would have gotten there. And forward smash will do it. Off the and top. that goes on the top. Yeah. <laughs> Great DI from, DS from DSL, but unfortunately with 67% just being the box is going to I don't know if he should have gone for that last up air, but... The extra, the They're nice paying off. They oh, are no, definitely yeah. paying off in terms of Nana's percent, again, which you can't see, so at least oh. 50 to 60 percent at this point. Well, that really becomes one of the mind games of Ice Climber players is, oh, you can hit Nana. <laughs> Go for it. Bobo? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I've got two characters. You. You've only got one. Okay. Gets him up high. Not going to risk yeah. anything. Anything above 200 percent is a little excessive because oh, no yeah. matter what the DI is. But definitely over 160 is a good call. Smart forward smash there. Just some drifting down towards his hand. And the smart jab. Jab up Yeah, smash. jab up smash. So I think he's really off. surprised that he got hit by the side B when he was forward smashing. But it works out. This is really close. DSL is doing a great job of noticing when he's drifting down and then grabbing Nana out of the... The duo. Oh, is that a wobble off of an air dodge? No! You can just see the sadness in DSL's face because he knows that this is a very, very well played set and Ooh. to have it come down to a wobble is rather and the, disheartening. And the other thing is like, One more stop. I'm sure he's, he understands certain wobbles, but that was just off of a tech yeah. flub. And those are the worst kind of wobbles where it's like, he shouldn't have been air like, dodge wave instead of wave dash. Yeah. He shouldn't have been wave landing there anyway, but like, oh, that, that hurts. And now we see some flubbed aerials. Probably not what he's trying to go for, but okay, it's very high tension situation because this is losers, so tournament is Yeah, this is for fifth place, seven. so. Is he going to go to last stock, though? He's only at 2%. DSL could definitely bring this back. One up air, one up smash. And turn around up, up smash. smash. Lee smiles it off. Oh, this is so close. Oh, wow. Great. Let's try and. I think oh, another shine would oh have been the, the right way to go there. Instead of going for the grab. Really smart shine there. I think you should just continue the wave shine. It was really scary because Leaf did get grabbed, which could have ended it all. <gasps> oh. Excellent. Is that it? Excellent. Is that it? Excellent. Oh. Off of the dash attack and the jab. Wow. Incredible. Wispy? Okay. And okay. that's going to be it. Well played by both players. Let me get that. Definitely. That's... Shake Zula Heartbreaking to see it, these. especially because, you know, I came in the carpool with DSL, but he played well, yeah. and Ice Climbers ultimately are just a different beast. Wait, where did you guys come from? Astoria. Okay, okay. All right. Well, that, that was